welcome back guys hope you all are fine and good in your homes again this video is on shortcut videos part 4 obviously and in this video we will <coughs> continue the learning of shortcuts for browsing features or you can say when we use browser we can use that shortcuts and upgrade our experience while browsing things so let's begin the video first shortcut is most common shortcut which maybe you know but According to video, I have want to make a keyboard tutorial, complete keyboard tutorial so that any part of the keyboard missed by me. So the shortcut for cut and paste. So the shortcut we will discuss about the cut and paste. Maybe you know about that but it's my priority to teach you these shortcuts also. For cut the text means if you want to cut a text, you want to cut a file, you want to cut a folder. Cut means to delete that file from that folder and pasting that file to another folder it means cut means we don't need that file in the recent folder or the previous folder we need that file in another folder for pasting that folder into another folder the shortcut we have is Control plus V Control plus V is the shortcut to pasting files folders text anything you want all uh, sometimes in the editing software Control V is used to pasting for pasting the pictures videos audios text all of the things some cases might be here that we cannot use Control V, but 99% of the time we can use Control V to paste things, text, pictures, videos, audio, anything you want. The next shortcut we will discuss about the uh, copying the file, folder, text, anything. The things we have discussed in cut and paste can be applicable in copy also. Shortcut for copy is Control C. C means C stands here for copy. Some of the shortcuts you will learn by their name, uh, by the first word of the name, because most of the shortcuts have been placed by their first name. But there are many words and many things we will do in Microsoft Windows that cannot be given name according to their first name. So some shortcuts maybe might be confusing for you. But 50% of the times the shortcut is the first name of the uh, thing you are doing like copying for C and anything you want to uh, do. Let's move on to the next shortcut. Last time I have discussed a shortcut control F4 in which I have told you that any software, any application, anything you are using including Chrome browsers or anything you are using in Windows can be shut down on this port with everything you have opened on it in within a second. But here is another use of control F4, control plus F4 shortcut is used in another method also. We can also shut down the whole window, means the Microsoft window in which you are working, the operating system can also be closed by the shortcut. When you are on your desktop, not, uh, not opening any application, if your desktop window is active, if your desktop window is active, you will press control F4, control F4 will show you the options of shutdown, sleep, switch user and sometimes some use might be uh, enabling the feature of hibernate also hibernate also is also a very great command these options will be in front of you and you can shut down the window without using any mouse also so we will end this video here i have told you three shortcuts uh, three to four shortcuts i think control x about uh, control x is for cut control c is for copy control v is for pasting and control f for again in this video to shut down the whole operating system hope you like my videos Hope you are learning new things from my videos. If you feel good about my videos, please like, comment, share and subscribe my videos. Thank you.